Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are in New Jersey, in Springfield, for the first town-wide yard sale of 2024, and I'm super excited. Let's do some shopping. Oh, I like that lamp. Sorry, I didn't realize someone was next to me all of a sudden. <laughs> by blue. Can I make a little pile right yeah, here? We have bags over here. Please. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Show sure your your backpacks. Um, the ones that are brand new, like the, that won't be ten. Okay. 
That's got some marking on it. Five? Okay. Is this just a whole bag of like backpacks? Did you work for the company? No, I was, um, my daughter was actually, um, part of it at one time. She was what? Part of it at one time. She did some modeling for it. Oh, no way. So, um, yeah, but some of it is now, so she was. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. Right. I'm going to leave this bag here. I'm going to get that whole bag. Like their website. I mean, they seem to sell for like a good amount. But I didn't look up the girlfriend. Hmm, these are kind of cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking all that stuff. We can make a, a deal for it.
That's a coach. Cute. Yeah, it's really, really cute. How much asking on it? What I have to have a price on this? Um, I, oh, you do. I can't tell what it says. Ten. Ten. That, that was uh, like $300. Oh, wow. Is it an older one? It, it must be. Yeah. One. Oh, wow. And this one. Calvin Klein. Also ten. Yeah, this mm -hmm. one is hardly ever used. And this has, hey, this is solid leather. Oh, okay. Dollar each. Okay. Right. Right, right. This is, you know, when you have pain in your shoulder or something, you throw this in the microwave. Oh, it's got like the corn in it. There's beans in there. Mm. Now, all, oh, these, beans? all okay. these earrings are a dollar, unless they're marked. <laughs> oh, okay. That's an old pin. Yeah, that's cute. Neat. That's a very nice yeah. It's it is. Cool. How much is that? Five dollars? Yeah. Yeah, that is neat. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought you were ready to pay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still looking. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep looking too for a minute. Yeah. It is he likes yeah. It's the man side. The man's the side. side. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Air tag. Air pod case. I think I'm gonna get this bag. Okay. Do you want a bag? Put the nah, bag. nah, that's okay. This is nice. Very nice. A little tile. Sewing, yeah. What is it? Three dollars? Yeah. Sewing. Okay, I'm gonna get that you too. Did she? <laughs> she oh yeah. Down. See, we have the same taste, I guess. <coughs> Except I'm gonna buy it. You love it. So I owe you thirteen. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Have a great day. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's not so cool. It's not very good, actually. Alrighty. Arabia, Finland. Kind of nice.
How much are the slippers? Two dollars. Two dollars? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look, I wanted to look yeah. at those bags. <laughs> I hope oh, you yeah. don't mind, I'm set, setting up your sale here. <laughs> oh, those are cute. How much are these? Um, they're a dollar a piece. Oh, okay. Oops. Uh, this Do you have extra singles? Yes, I do. All right, good, because I have some, but yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to get these. Okay. And then I think I'm going to take that bin of bras. How much would you do for the whole bin? Oh. Mm. You're taking all of these bras? Yes. Well, two. Oh, is there stuff inside, too? Or no? Some. All right, I'm going to keep looking while you add this up. Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh. Some sticker on me. And then the purses and stuff, hey, so Hey Kenny. Each of these, um, like I was I was pair? gonna I was gonna do um, fifteen total, but I'll do since you're buying a lot, yeah, I'll do it for ten. Okay. All right. So. so ten and fifteen is twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty. Ken, do you have a bag by chance? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hold on. Just Patty. Yeah. Um. Do you want this basket yeah, for something? Yeah. Yeah. 30? 30. Perfect. All right. Oh, that bag. Okay, perfect. Oh, no, we're going to need a... Because this is heavy duty. Yeah, if you have a paper one, that'd be amazing. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Anchor hacking. More attacking crystal. And a neat cut glass. It's very sharp. Tutti fruity. Shower curtain. Look at that animal print. <laughs> that is like total mob wave aesthetic. I think I have to get this. Would you five on that? Five? Okay, I'm gonna take it then. I'm gonna keep looking though for a second. I'm used to do okay if it's complete. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Is this all my stuff? Right. That's all my stuff. Are you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. How much are these? Uh, the durables? Um, they're hers. <laughs> uh, for like the whole bag? The whole bag we'd do like $50. 45 Mm. We do fit, but we throw this in too, like all the adorable stuff. All the adorable stuff. Yeah. You you can sell them for a lot. Like you can sell each little mm. one of those for two or three dollars online. I just don't have the patience <laughs> to do that. Right. I, I can't. <laughs> Wait, how much did you say you do? Forty-five. All right. All right. So get all the stuff. Pack them up for me. So, so let's see if we can find another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Are you separate then? Do I pay you separate for the shower curtain? All right, here's five for the shower curtain. Thank you. Thank you. 45. Thank you so much. We got a little shelf here if you want to display all your adorables. <laughs> <laughs> You're prepared. I think this is it though. Thank you. Okay guys, so I did not film a crazy, crazy amount of yard sale footage. So I think I'm going to include the haul with this video. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this. I'm going to see because sometimes on weekends where I'm, you know, yard selling two, three days in a row can get a little hectic to try to film all of the hauls. Um, it's not always um, conducive to my time management and getting it, you know, getting the stuff processed and everything else. So I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the hauls. I may, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do the, the yard sale videos this year. Uh, there's a couple different ways I may do it. So we shall see. But for right now, you're getting the haul. Um, I may do them separately. I may split them up. One day do the shopping. One day do the haul. Because not everybody likes watching the shopping. Not everybody likes watching the haul. Then you can decide which one you want to watch. Or you can watch both of them. Uh, because most times I don't catch everything on film. Uh, because I'm just out so long. But then I was also thinking about switching it up and making shorter videos with, you know, if I do a town wide, just film a few of the yard sales at a time. But that would make the hauls nearly impossible for me to remember what I got at each house. So I'm, I'm still uncertain as to how exactly I am going to do this. But for right now, this is how it's gone. Let me jump into this haul. I this may end up being kind of long because I got a ton ton a ton of stuff especially from this one house uh we did go back twice and i spent 250 the first time and i spent 80 dollars the second time i grabbed a couple of bags without even knowing what was totally in the bag like i did not dig everything out i just said you know what i'm grabbing it it's gonna be it's gonna be a surprise <laughs> so I don't really know everything that's in all of these. I know some of them, some of them. There are a couple times where I did just fill the bags myself. Oh, and I will tell you in this haul, the bras I bought at the one stop, um, they are used, but they should do okay. Um, got a deal on all of them. Those are actually at my friend's house because I left them in her car, <laughs> which tends to happen quite a bit lately. <laughs> she also has some measuring cups from QVC like two times ago. <laughs> so she's going to have like a whole haul soon for me that I'll be able to list when I need something to list. Um, but anyway, so those won't be in the video. I left them in her car and all of the makeup I did. I, I bought a bin of makeup when I went back and I'll pop that photo up on the screen to show you um, all it cosmetics stuff. I do have a couple little items in here before I noticed where is it? Before I noticed, oh, I thought it, oh, here, it's right next to me. Before I noticed all of the makeup, I did pick up a couple single little ones from another box. And then when I saw like the box of makeup, I just grabbed that all. So anyway, that was at the second round, but yeah. So I have a ton of makeup. I did take it into my house last night and I started listing it from home. So that is why I don't have all of that with me. I never brought it back down here. I'm just gonna list it at home. Anyway, 
here are some things I got. I got this Draper James. I just thought this was a really pretty cardigan sweater. These flowers on it. It's a 3X Draper James RSVP size 3X. This, like I said, this stuff is all in the, the bundle pricing of $250 and $80. Can't remember which ones I even got at each trip. Uh, this right here is a bay leaf. Looks like a skort. It's a lined skort. New with tags. And it is a size... XL. Now I got a ton of these bags. This brand, I got a ton of this brand in general. This brand is called United by Blue. Um, they're like a sustainable brand um, with their clothing, accessories and whatnot. And this woman said that her daughter had done some modeling for them. So I don't know, but she got a ton of stuff um, so I looked up some of these backpacks online and they sell for a crazy amount on their website. Um, eBay, it's a little hard to search by this brand because United by Blue, you type that in and so many other things come up. This brand itself doesn't seem to have its own, like, you know, brand yet within, within eBay. But anyhow, super excited these are all new. This backpack, um, I'll try to pop up a couple comps if I can find it on the website, but I'm not going to do it for every item because I just got so many things. Anyway, nice little red plaid backpack. Some of these are like hiking backpacks. Some of them are, you know, I mean, I'm sure they're pretty versatile. You can use them for whatever. Um, this is a commuter backpack. And camel. This is same commuter backpack in orange or cardinal they actually call it I'm not sure why cardinals are red aren't they uh then i have this one this this one is a revolution transit pack this one has a price sticker on it of 118 dollars. some of them have the prices some don't so i actually think oh this one looks like it's the same color but it's actually a little smaller uh, this one doesn't even have the name on it, I don't think. It doesn't. So I got those. This one looks like another commuter. This floral one. Burnt Sienna Daisy. This one's called the Sidekick. $88 price tag on it. And then this one, which is another Sidekick in color block. And then the bag, which these bags look like they would be great to use, maybe even at rummage sales. But this one has a little hole in it, so we'll see about that. These bags are great. Very nice size. Uh, then I did get this. This fell out of the bag. This is another score. It's a Land's End. This one, this one looks like it's new without tags. I don't see tags does have like the liner on the inside still it's never been removed it's a size 16 actually it's not a score it's like maybe like swim trunks for women okay so that was that was one of the bag bags uh next bag this one is one that i don't really know what all is in it because i just grabbed it i saw a lot of this brand and i grabbed it now my friend michelle got a lot of girlfriend collective leggings uh i don't think i ended up getting any of those but she got a whole bunch of them oh this is actually women's i thought this was men's it says organic tie back sweater dress size large forest floor is the color oh that's cute this is a women's dress i was like oh it's a man's sweater <laughs> nope <laughs> no it is not okay then we have a pair of pants also united by blue xxl I don't know if these are, I guess these are probably women's. They don't have any tags on them. And then we have this, this, oh, this is ASOS. It's a dress, it looks like, uh, US size two. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Did not know that was in there. <laughs> like I just, I, it's like a blind bag. So kind of fun. Okay, here is a United by Blue. This looks like it's a men's shirt. Yes, men's organic field guide pocket tee, night sky. Sells for $58 on the website. 
Nua Tags. Uh, here we go again. United by Blue. Quick drying. Swim trunk size 32. Nua Tags. That's perfect for the upcoming summer season. Here we have another one of these shirts. This one's in medium and a different color. All right. We have some jeans in here. These are same, same, uh, United by Blue men's organic straight leg jean, $128. Woo -hoo! What a freaking bargain. I can't believe, I mean, I, I spent, oh, so 250, 80, $330 for all of this stuff, all of this stuff. Um, I've already sold a couple. I've already sold a couple of the cosmetics that I listed. Um, some of them are recently expired, but that's not a big deal with, with that kind of stuff. Um, so I, I really priced them to sell and they sold quick. Two, like two of them sold immediately after I listed them. Here's a women's thermal Henley top, new with tags, $58 MSRP again. Here we have some t-shirts. This is a size small women's. Even the t-shirt, Pocket tee or Ryan blue that doesn't actually have a price on it. Uh, here's another men's earth circle graphic tee. Better together. Oh, I guess it's on the front. I can't see it on the back. I'm not showing you. Uh, what is this? This is this is some kind of a scarf. Oh, same same brand. United by Blue. It's it's a scarf really nice scarf I really like the design on that and it's just really nice fabric uh another what is this another t-shirt I can get it right here XL just like uh this actually has a couple surface marks probably from from being in her driveway um United by Blue size large. This is a pair of leggings, women's ribbed leggings, size large, foxglove, $68. And then we have another pair, same thing. Oh, same exact, same exact pair. Another size large. Then we have some shoes in here. I don't even know. These are called Flamingo's Life. Vegan Kicks. Ethically made in Spain. Flamingo's life. New with tags, size 45. I'm not sure what the U.S. size on that is. But the Rancho V2 collection. Hemp and linen. We'll have to see what size 45 is. But these look like men's. These are a nice color. I thought I saw a pair of these in here, but I was not sure. So I also have another pair. These are a size 39. Classic 70s collection. Um, corn Made out of corn waste and bamboo. Now, I don't know if these are men's or, or women's. 39 would normally be like a size 8. Oh, these are definitely women's. These are definitely women's because they would totally fit me. These are actually cool. These are actually cool. Let's see what they're selling for. I might have to keep these. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm probably going to sell them. They are kind of cool though. Okay, and then I have a black pair. Another one from the classic 70s collection. These are a size 38. So they're probably like a women's uh, 7. New with, new with tags. I am so excited about this stuff. So, so excited about this stuff. Seems like these might be like up and coming brands. Um, I need to get the rest of it over here. I have so much great stuff to list right now that I don't know what to, I don't know what to dig into first, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so most of this bag, I do not know what it is either. I do know a couple of the items. I did grab these four kind of like sea urchin wall hangings. I actually have like two of these at home that I've had forever that I was gonna hang and I never hung. Ooh, I'm a little stuck. There's like a little 3M clip on this one. Sorry, I'm not trying to flip you guys off. <laughs> anyway, 
These are kind of cool. Probably going to list these. Not sure for how much, but they'll probably get listed. So now back into this bag. Let's see what this is. Maybe it's another women's dress. Oh no, it's a men's buffalo plaid sweater. $138. That's a nice, that's a nice color. That would look sharp on a man. Okay, we have another t-shirt, another better together t-shirt, a little bit of a different style. This one I did know about and I put in here and this is a really nice bag and it still has the tags, but it's got some spots. So this one's gonna really be sold cheaper, you know, as is, it'll probably clean up, but it's got a couple marks on it, like on the side. I don't know if you guys can see those, um, even right here. So I'm not sure what happened to that particular bag. Okay, now the rest of this stuff, no idea what's in here. I just grabbed the whole bag. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> like, let me just grab the bag. I'm not going to waste time digging through it. Oh, crap. You know what? This also looks like it's got some kind of wear, some kind of issues. Like, it's new with tags, but it definitely got, I should have looked in this bag. $148, carry-on duffel portado. So, it's new with defects, basically is what it's going to get listed as um another another makeup piece here's another bag this one i think she did tell me is like convertible it's got backpack straps in this zipper area that you would hook to there new with tags so another bag this one was 118 uh originally it's called the convertible carry all in navy that one looks good it doesn't look like there's any issues to that one or this one these must have been far enough down in the bag that they did not fall out. <laughs> this one I don't see any tags on. Um, but it doesn't look used or anything. Probably new without tags. It's a nice, nice bag. Okay, here's another one. It looks like it may be... It's a duffel. It's a $148 duffel again. This one looks great no oh yeah there's a little bit of surface wear but no like staining on the top or anything like that uh and then we have another we have a blue one here <sighs> this one is a mini duffel 128 msrp oh boy i think we have all bags in here and there's a ton of them here is another navy convertible one and then we have uh Workwear Mini Field Pack Lavender. This was $88. Little backpack. One, two, three, four. <laughs> four of those. They are kind of heavy. That's why this big bag was so heavy. I was like, what in the heck is in here? Oh, and then I have another one in a different color. Oh, man, this is awesome. Oops. All right, here is another commuter backpack in camel. I have, so I have these in a bunch of different colors. There's actually a lot in the camel. One, two, three, four. Looks like I have five of those. Five of those, originally $78. Uh, this is kind of freaking amazing, to be honest with you. This is like super amazing. We're down to the bottom of the bag, and this one's really cool. The Ridgeline collection okay reprieve rescues plastic bottles from the incinerator and transform them into and transforms them into a high quality fiber using fewer greenhouse gases in the process so this is united by blue reprieve ridgeline bags this one's called breakers 25 liter rift pack storm blue it does not have it does not have a price on it but I mean, it looks like a quality bag. And I have two of them. Wow. I cannot believe all of the awesome stuff I got. And that's not even it yet. I still have, I still have two more bags over there, I believe, that came from this sale. Uh, yeah. That is pretty freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. And multi-quantity listings, you cannot beat that. New with tags, multi-quantity. So many things I love about this purchase. So many things I love about it. 
Oh my goodness. All right. I have junk all over here, but I'm going to bring more over and show you the rest. Okay. So by the same brand, I get, I did get some traveler journals. Um, not sure how much these will go for, but I got three of them. I uh, got some of their tumblers, which retail for about 35, 25 to 35 on their site. I think I really love, love, love this plaid. This one actually, uh, insulated steel travel mug. This one actually sold for $28 on their website. So I think I might've gotten a couple of these. I'm not sure. And then I did get some of their cups. These are super nice. Super, super nice. This one's like new without tag. They have nice silicone on the straw, so you're not gonna <laughs> break your teeth off on it because the rest of it's metal. And then I got this color as well. Oh my goodness, where am I putting all this? Where am I putting all this? Okay, and then a bag of clothes. This is another one. I thought there were only two that I really didn't go through. Nope. This is another one. Here's a long sleeve black tee, uh, $42. Men's black eco knit pocket tee, size large. I just said, let me grab it all. All new with tags. Here's another one of those shirts. Size small, same exact size. Impact collection. The Clean Earth Club. This is sage green, size medium. Uh, this right here is a women's size small, a chambray top, $88 MSRP. I just cannot believe all of this stuff. New with tags. This was amazing. $330. I just can't believe it. I mean... This is just so cool to hit a sale like this. It's another one of these. I'm gonna have to sort and figure out what I have duplicates of. Uh, this one is a size medium. Oh, it's another one of those pocket tee type, type things. Here we go. We have another blue, Orion blue, size small. So I have three of these. Multi-quantity, here we go. Another, another one of these. Is it a medium? It is a medium. Multi-quantity listings, baby. Oh, yeah. We actually, I have a ton of these. I have apparently a ton of these. These are all size small. One, two, three, four more of them in this, in this, uh, in this bag. Uh, this is, this is so cool. The Impact Collection, size small. Keep it cool. That's pretty neat. Graphic tee. Off-white. Oh, this one's a men's. Men's size small. I think I might have another one of those. Is this the same shirt? No, this is the same as that other one I pulled out before, though, that had the mark on it. Oh, we have another, another one of those pocket tees. Size medium. I don't see tags on this one. This one might be new without tags. And I have one, two, three more of the chambray shirts. These, oh, these are little kids. I picked these up. Flowers by Zoe Pant. Space Cadets was the, the store. I guess it was sold. Uh, these are a kid size five, but I thought they were so neat. They were priced $59 in the boutique. How cute. Look at the little pockets. I did get those there. Those I do remember picking up. The stuff got to the bottom of the bag because I think the lady counted everything and she like mixed it up. Here is a size XL uh, men's tank. United by Blue. Oh man, we have more of these chambray tops. <laughs> size small. These feel so nice. I wish that there were a couple in here that were bigger. I definitely would have kept one of these. I totally would wear this, but size small is not going to fit me. Unfortunately, known supply, human person tee. 
another sustainable brand. I've never heard of this, but it just says human person on it and it's a size medium. So did not know that was in there. This I did know. I did pick this up. This is a mini Bowden dress, a little girl's dress, size three to four year. So cute. Look at that little dress. I think that's adorable. And then I did get this women's Betsy Johnson dress. It is a size four, uh, just a multicolor floral, but it was new with the tags. So I grabbed it. Oh, and then I did get this um, WW Live SummerSlam Heatwave Tour 2018 wrestling tee. And uh, one more bag. One more bag from this sale. Holy moly. Can you believe? I, I can't believe. I cannot believe I paid... $330 for all this stuff. I'm so excited. Here is another bag. This is another Ridge Ridge line collection. I think it's another one of the backpack ones. Uh, then we have a pair of Forsake boots. These look like they sell for about $50 new. Must be another up and coming kind of company. These are men's, I believe. Uh, the Wilson style size, men's size 10. Very nice boot. Uh, and then I got this little pair of kids' native shoes. The kid colored all over the box, I think. But these are so cute, these little natives. They're brand new. Just little, like, I don't know what the fabric is on these. They're kind of like Crocs, basically. They're, you know, vented. They're new with tags. Little kids' Jefferson, this is called Jefferson Bloom Alaska Blue, U.S. Child Size 11. Made with algae. So that's like super interesting. They're cute. I think they're so cute. Uh, and then I, I did have, I have like a couple other things in here that I purchased somewhere else. So I don't want to mix up the haul. Okay. This also came in the $330 thing. This is a brand new, um, I guess like a WW, WWE, I guess they call it now. 2K14 PS3 game. Uh, new and sealed. These look like they have sold for $49.99 with free shipping pretty often around that range. So that was awesome. Um, and then lastly, I did get two more pair of these shoes this flamingo life this is um or flamingo's life this is a size 45 these look like a men's size 45 the other one's in the bag i think they're both the same i have two pair of them and yeah this one's also a size 45 so wow <laughs> what a haul what a haul. I am so beyond stoked about this stuff. I just can't stop saying it. All right. So then a couple other things. We did stop at one Goodwill. Didn't really film there. We were only in there for a few minutes. I saw this hanging on an end cap and I just grabbed it. It's the brand Artwalk. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. However, it's not new with tags, but this brand there's some listed like for $70 and this I just thought was so cute because it also has the hat to it and these dogs I just love it so this is a size six months 100% cotton made in Peru I paid $3.99 for this set at the Goodwill I forget which Goodwill we were at Elmwood Park I think it was the Elmwood Park Goodwill and then at the same place I also picked up a bag of Oneida flatware for $7.99. This is the Raphael pattern. It will do pretty well. At that price, it will certainly do pretty well. Uh, we found some random yard sale as we were driving by in one of the towns and um, picked up this apple 
adapter for 50 cents. This will probably sell for about $14.99 free shipping. Uh, I do. Oh, I have a Chico's belt in here. I have a Chico's. I, I did grab a few Chico's belts. How does this even work? I don't even know how this thing works. Where would you like? Oh, <laughs> that works. Uh, what size is this? It's like clearly not. Oh, it is adjustable. You can adjust it with this. Can you tell that I don't wear belts? I have no idea what I'm talking about here. Um, medium, large. So I actually did grab quite a few Chico's belts and they're still in my car too. So this is a half, this is a half ass haul guys. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, because I'm forgetting a few things, but anyway, I will show you another bag that I got and this is from a different sale. I will say this town always advertises way more than they have. Um, this year they advertised 35 houses and I think 15 were set up, if that. <laughs> this town is notorious for that for some reason, but that's okay because look what I still came away with, right? And it's like, it's the first one of the season and I know what it, I know how that town is. So I, I never go in there with like super high expectations, but I always do pretty well anyhow. Okay. So I got the shower curtain. I ended up paying $5 for it. Total mob wife aesthetic, right? Look at this thing. I love this. It's like a fabric shower curtain. Um, I totally love that. These were not on camera, but I picked these up for $2 a piece. Little Miss for payments. It's like a take on those books, those, um, those little miss books, you know, I don't know. We'll see. And then I did get this Barbie one. It is forever 21 plus. So it's a size zero X Barbie. I didn't come to play. <laughs> right. I didn't come to play. That's me at yard sales. I didn't come to play, came to buy. All right. So then I got these Bionics. I paid $2 for these at another sale. They have a little bit of wear, but they're still in pretty good shape. I don't know what size they are. Oh, they're US size eight. US size eight. I did, oh, what did I do with that tile? I, you know what? This is, I'm telling you, this is why I run into problems with hauls because it's just so much stuff to bring in. And I'm like, where did I put it? <laughs> anyway, I did get this. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't realize she has this stuffed with bags full of packing peanuts to give it shape. That's, a, that's nice. That's a nice way to display the, the bag. So I wasn't real sure about this one because it honestly doesn't feel like the normal coach quality and it does have a creed, but there's no number on it, which I kind of found odd. But some of the older ones don't have numbers, but this one didn't look that old, but I did find some that looked I mean, it looks legit. It's got the coach, it's got the coach marking like all over the hardware, the buttons, even like the feet at the bottom. So I don't know, but I did see some com comparable ones on Poshmark that sell, that look like they sold for like 80. Um, this is cute. Does this turn? It feels like there's like a coin in here or something. No, there isn't. It's a little key ring, I think. It's a little key ring and I can't get it out of here. Mm. Oh, maybe it's stuck in there. So you just put your keys on it. You just hook your keys on it, I think. Okay. Well, I don't know how that works because then you put the strap on top of it. So where's the thing coming out of? I don't know, but this does seem, it does seem like a legit coach bag. So that's pretty awesome. I paid $10 for it. Sat here and messed with that for long enough now. Okay, next stuff I paid up for. I paid $45 for these Disney Dorables. And um, it was like a mystery pack that I don't think has ever even been opened. Oh, it hasn't been. That's kind of cool. 
um, in one of my previous hauls, I got a box from the Goodwill that wasn't open. Um, and yeah, I like picking up these doorbells. So anyway, I got quite a few of them. There are like some cars, some cases. Adorables Academy, one locker, one Academy figure, five accessories. I don't know if that was open. And just a ton of loose ones, which is, it's going to be hard to show you guys on camera, but there's a lot of them. So hopefully there's some rare ones in here. I'm going to lot them up. Oh, here's the locker. I guess that must be the little figure. Maybe it's Mickey Mouse. Oops. Let's see how you open this thing. Oh, maybe I have to put this on the door. Oh, that's probably it. It is. That's how you do it. Oh. 18 and 16. And they're still sealed. I think they're sealed. Disney Dorables Academy. They are sealed. We have the stickers. That is actually pretty darn cool. I'm going to take this back off so I can close it in the box. I don't know if I can get it back off. Oh, maybe from the inside. I need like a kid to show me how these things work. Oh, maybe it goes like that. <laughs> I'm never gonna get this thing off of here. I wanna, I so bad wanna use my teeth, but I know that's a bad idea. So I'm not gonna do it. Anyhow, I'm gonna have to get pliers or something. Try to push this back out because it's not gonna fit in the box. I'm already screwing this stuff up. Looks like we do have a couple others. Um, I guess that's why they're called Dorables. Maybe they all had, came in these cases. Who knows? I don't really know. I've only ever found them loose. They have a bunch of different vehicles and just a ton of these doorbells. So we'll see what happens with them. Um, <laughs> but I'm excited. Excited about this purchase. The little girl was happy with making some money. Oh, there are some that are ultra rare, rare. The Aladdin. Oh, wait, no. The Elsa and the Alice. Well, it's about time somebody made something Elsa that was ultra rare because so much of that stuff is overproduced. Anyway, this video is going to be gigantically long. <laughs> gigantically long. I was going to, I don't know about that term for a video, but that's going to wrap it up, I think, guys. I think. Oh, no. I got more stuff. It's in the other room. Oh, boy. Holy moly okay a couple more items and that's gonna wrap it up so this is a arabia finland little um like a tile i guess you can hang on the wall i don't know i paid three dollars for it i got these bowls for these bowls for four dollars these are uh neiman marcus oriental flower queens and these actually came from an estate sale that we went to afterwards. It's uh, Vig Noble, William Sonoma. Got three of these. They're like pasta bowls. Should be able to sell those for about maybe 35, 40. So the three of those. And then the house where I got the bras, I got these really cool um, like menorahs for Hanukkah. They're metal and they're electric. This one says Shalom. And the other one, there's two of them. I got them two for 10. They even have some bulbs in them. This one's really nice too. I'm going to have to make sure it works. It actually feels like it's okay. That one feels a little loose. I wonder if that can be tightened. I'm going to have to check. This one has like a Jewish star on it. I think these are awesome. So I have not looked these up yet. I don't know what they really go for. Oh, this one has screws in it. So the other one probably does too. Hopefully I can get them tightened up and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, so yeah, aside from the stuff that I either don't have here because it's at my house or Michelle's house, that's gonna wrap up the haul. This was a very long, long haul, long video. So like I said, guys, this is why I'm gonna have to 
either split the halls up or not I don't know I might not do the halls for all of the um all the yard sale videos we're just gonna have to wait and see especially if I can't if I catch most of it on film I probably don't need to do a um a haul so um We'll see what happens. So that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you guys are out yard sailing yet in your neck of the woods. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye.